Welcome back to another episode of Brass and Beer. Today we're doing a, a little bit interesting video. Uh, this is a antique firearm series and it's on the Colt Derringer. So it's it's kind of weird. It's manufactured by Butler Derringer and then uh, Colt just plastered their name on it and then sold it as a set or single. They call it a Colt, I think, Lord case set. I might be a little bit off on that, but again, this is just kind of the rough information that I found. Um, it's a little bit different because, again, it's an antique firearms series, but we're not firing the gun this time. It's just going to be giving you information on it and just kind of uh, sharing part of my collection with you guys. Again, it's uh, made by Butler Derringer uh, or Colt. They plaster their name on it. It's got the Colt logo. Uh, as far as the case, we'll just start with the case right here. We got a faux leather covering a hard backer and it has a, uh, a metal plate up here that's uh it's kind of like uh i don't want to say gold plated but it has like a gold finish to it and you can engrave on there uh, mine does have an engraving on there it is my grandfather uh, this set was handed down to me from him that's the case as far as the uh, pistols themselves it's a set of two dueling pistols they are 22 short that's what they're chambered for uh, they got a two and a half inch barrel on them, a swing arm breech style, so that's the action on it. Uh, barrel finish is a, a blued, and it's made out of a different metal. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but basically it's it's just coated. Uh, same thing with the it, same thing with uh, the rest of the frame too. It's a uh, like a gold finish, but uh, I think it's like a zinc kind of like mix in there, and then it has uh, walnut grips. So as far as the sights go, they're uh, front fixed sights. I'll actually pick one up here too so I can kind of show you. Um, front fixed up here on the front and then the hammer, uh, when the hammer is cocked back, uh, the top of the hammer acts as the rear sight. So that's, uh, that's your sights on them. As far as some history on the gun goes, they were manufactured in two different time frames. This is the, the fourth model. And, uh, and again, they're manufactured in two different time frames, from 59 to 63. And in that time frame, 112,000 of these were made. And then 70 to 76, they were remanufactured, and 25,000 were made. The difference between the two is on the serial number, you'll usually see a five digit serial number, that's more common. And then uh, it'll be followed with an N or a D. The N model was the early model, the 59 to 63, at 112,000. Uh, units made and then the 70 to 76 model will end in a the letter D and that is 25,000 as far as new a set like this brand new actually went for 39.50 that's how much my grandmother told me she paid for it when she uh, came home from the general store with these uh, and uh, gifted them to my grandfather. So that's kind of a, a neat little story. And I know a little bit about the history. I think she said she saw it in the, the paper ad that showed up in her mailbox and uh, or on her below her mailbox. And she needed to go to the store to pick up a few other groceries and came home with these for $39.50 and gave them to him. She also had his name a WH and then his last name engraved on it. So uh, pretty neat. And uh, hopefully one day I'll get to pass this down to my, my kids. Uh, as far as value today goes, they, they go for anywhere from, I would say, roughly $300 to $600. They're really not worth a whole lot. Um, I've read multiple forums on them and, and people actually saying that they weren't a super good gun. Basically, they uh, the manufacturer just wasn't super good. The only reason they hold a higher value is because of the name Colt on it. So that's kind of funny. And that's true with a lot of other things too. Uh, it just seems like anything that has the name Colt on it always does hold a higher value. They do produce, uh, you know, good guns all around though too. So uh, three to $600 for a, a set like this in the original case, uh, you'll see a little bit more, uh, but not a whole lot of value, uh, at least, when I inquired them, I, I would have thought that they would have been valued a little bit more. Uh, something like this though, being in the family, you know, it's always fun to know the value, but it's kind of useless to me because it's something that's going to stay in the family. So I've seen people online saying that, that they're worth as little as 150 bucks, but uh, I, I would pay more than that for them. I'd pay in the 300 benchmark for them. 
Uh, these have never been shot, so my, my grandfather never did shoot them. It was just a collector piece he, he kept on the shelf, which I think is really cool. They never will be shot, at least by me uh, and you know, hopefully anyone I pass them down to. They, they'll never shoot them. I think it's just a very cool piece to have in, in the collection. Uh, I have definitely thought about maybe trying to f get my hands on either a really cheap another set or just a single one. Uh, and, and the one that I would get would, I would probably end up trying to find one that had been shot before and then I would go ahead and shoot it so I could know what it's like to shoot a pistol like this, uh, but not shoot this exact set because this set's in uh, very, very good condition. So I've got big Colt letters right up there on the top and then on the side, it's going to read Colt's PFA MFG Co. Inc. HTFD uh, CT USA, so just where it's manufactured, and then the serial number down below. It's got a few screws on the side. I'll show you the, the action on it here, so you can half cock the hammer, and then it just breaks to the side. There's no button that you press or anything like that. Uh, you just give it a little bit of force and it'll break to the side fairly easily. Then you can now full cock the hammer. Again, that doubles as your sight for your front as well, and then uh, then you can fire it. So, um, 22 short, little rim fire. I think they're very neat little pistols. Uh, I think they're just a, a really great collector's piece. So uh, that's basically everything that I know on the set themselves. They come in this, like I said, the hard covered, like faux leather case there. And uh, it's like a, a red, I don't know if that's a velvet or really what that is, but it's, it's just a nice little display case. You, I feel like you could definitely tell that it was made in the early 70s for this particular model. But again, just a cool piece that I want to share with you guys. It's part of the Antique Firearm series. So uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can click on the playlist and, uh, and watch the other uh, guns that I've done in the Antique Firearm series so far. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions or corrections too. If, uh, if maybe something in this video that I looked up was actually wrong correct me I'd be happy to, to know more information on these little particular pistols and it would help our other viewers too so comment down below if you have questions or corrections or anything like that and then if you like this video and uh, and you've seen some of my other content maybe consider hitting that subscribe button it would help me out greatly and I want to continue to try to produce good content for you guys so uh, so just think that one through other than that thanks for watching